Sound design consists of three things. First, you have your atmosphere, the ambient sound of a given place, whether it's room tone or the sounds of the mountains or the beach. Basically, it's the subtle audio that psychologically signals to the audience what that place is about. Second, you have sound effects, which kind of brings the visuals to life. It could be the practical sounds coming from your camera, or it could be sound effects that you can add in just to spice up your visuals a bit more. And lastly, you have music, which sets the overall tone of your video. And with all these three things combined, if done right, can make for a very powerful and immersive experience. And thanks to our good friends from Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. We're gonna do just that. We're gonna bring a scene to life by using stock footage. It's footage that I've never shot before, but we're gonna try to make it come to life by adding atmosphere, sound effects, and music. Mm, it's gonna be fun. All right, so here we are starting from scratch and to the left, you see some uh, beach stock footage and uh, we're gonna make it real simple. We'll pick a couple of clips and uh, we'll just, you know, piece the scene together. So let's see, what do we wanna start with? All right, start with this clip over here. Oh, that's great. That's actually a good ending shot. Let's save that for later. What is this shot of? Oh, here we go. Okay, a little laggy there, Premiere. All right, that'll be a good intro shot. Nice aerial. Uh, it's like we're going into the ocean. And then with this last shot, it's like we're coming out of the ocean. Let's do this shot over here, the surfer dude. Just looking out to the water. Ooh, that's a good one. Surfer's coming out of the ocean. Ooh, okay, here we go, we got some birds. I don't know if I have a clip of actual surfing. Oh, here we go. So let's get, take a look at what our sequence looks like. Oh. Let me let me render it real quick. So uh, so as I'm rendering, basically, I'm just kind of setting up the scene. I'm going to look at the entire sequence in its entirety, and then I'm going to try to figure out what kind of atmosphere to add to this scene. Obviously, we're at the beach, so we're going to go in epidemic sound, and we're going to look for some beach sound effects, hopefully some subtle beach atmosphere, because it's the morning. Uh, I feel like this is a calm time. I don't want to hear sounds of like crowds at a beach. You know, it wouldn't make any sense. But once we check out our sequence, we'll do just that. Just gonna add cinematic bars because, uh, well, I just want to. Okay, so this is gonna be our little sequence. <laughs> Render again. I'm not too worried about like matching the colors in each clip. I mean, they're all from different sources. And so the main point is all about sound design. So we're just gonna focus on that. Uh, okay, so while it's rendering, let's go ahead and go on epidemic sound and search for some sound effects. Uh, okay, sound effects. And uh, let's just, uh, oh, we got some waves here. Uh, cool. Yeah, let's just start there. Okay. Uh, oh, right away. Uh, there's a tag called ambiance. And so we're going to click on that and hopefully we'll find, um, some beach ambiance. That's pretty good. Okay. I like this one to start with. Uh, all right, so we're gonna use this one. That sounds pretty good. And that's gonna be our subtle ambiance that we're just gonna put underneath all the visuals. It's such a simple concept, but like subtle cues like that just really help just give an immersive experience when people are watching videos, you know? Uh, okay, so Beach Ocean 3, we're gonna download. Simple like that. We're gonna actually download just a bunch of stuff. So <laughs> just download right over here. Now let's look for some, uh, some seagulls. Ooh, I like how subtle that is. That's a winner already. Uh, and I think that should be it. We'll try to keep it simple and we'll add the atmosphere and the sound effects to our timeline. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and import, so import sound effects. Very cool. This one is... Pick this guy and let's just put it underneath our little sequence and uh, let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> That's cool. So without it, obviously it just sounds flat. I mean, there's nothing there, but when you add in that atmosphere, 
This should start as a fade. We're gonna fade in. Uh, I feel like it's a bit too strong, so let's lower the decibels to negative six. Oh, much better. And then that should just run through the entire video. All right, let's play from the beginning. Oh, that sounds so good already. See how it just adds a bit of dynamic, a lot of depth to um, to this sequence. Like again, without it, it's very flat. It's very pretty to look at. I mean, really great shots, but add in the atmosphere. It just helps make you feel that, that you're there at the beach, just a little bit. All right, so we have this guy waiting over here. So let's add another layer of, uh, of the waves uh, crashing on the beach. Mm. Ooh, yeah, there you go, that's good. Let's add that right there. And let's hear what it sounds like. There you go. That sounds great. So here, let me just fade out here so it sounds a little more natural. That's awesome. So I'm going to mute it. Let's play it back. Okay, so there's no shift of dynamics, but when we bring that sound effect back in. See what I mean? Like it just, just it's all about layers. And then I know we have um, waves crashing on the dock. Where is that? Here we go. Sound of a plane. There we go. If you look at the um, the audio waveform, I want to match it with this visual cue. See how the wave is uh, going to hit this uh, column of the pier? Yeah, I want to I want to time it with this uh, spike in the audio waveform. So let's go ahead and bring it up over here. I think it's right there. No, not yet. Oh, but you see what I'm trying to do? Okay, so we're gonna bring it back. Nope, almost there. There you go. See, that sounds great. All right, so let's just go ahead and fade in and out. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's go from uh, this clip to the next. Uh, let's mute this track. It just feels a little flat, right? But let's bring that sound effect back in. Love that. Ah, yes, the seagulls. Ooh, I like that. I like that the way it is. Let's just let's just apply it. Ooh, that's good, but is that too subtle? Let's try the next one. Let's try that. I'm gonna make it louder. So let's make it about, let's hear what it sounds like at six. And I'm going to let the sound effects of the seagulls run um, all the way through, actually, because when you're at the beach, like they're always there. So it kind of makes sense just to leave that sound effect throughout the entire video. I'll, I'll probably make it a little more subtle. Like, let's go down to negative six. Yeah, it's pretty subtle, so well, I like that. All right, we got surfer guy over there. Or it could be a girl, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. No. 
A lot of it's just trial and error. Ooh, I like that. So this sound right here, it's a, a subtle change in the waves. I want to align that right here. It gets up. Again, trial and error. I could be totally wrong, but that's the beauty of filmmaking. Let's lower this to negative three, actually. Yeah. Yes. So that little uh, dynamic change of the waves uh, aligns with the visuals as he's getting up uh, to surf. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, uh, let's add a couple more. Almost done here. Yeah, this particular sound effect sounds like the waves are closer, which would make sense for this particular shot. So this this change uh, of the waves, if you if you can hear it, again I'm timing with the visuals, and so uh, there's waves crashing in the background. So I, I kind of wanted to time it with that. Yeah, sounds great. Ooh, nice. So I'm looking at the audio waveforms and it's gradually getting more intense. And so that kind of makes sense with this shot as uh, as a drone is going closer to the surfers. It kind of aligns with the intensity of, of the audio from the clip. And so uh, let's just try that. I hope that makes sense. Does it make sense? No, all right, whatever. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring that closer. Uh, it actually might work. It's very subtle, but I think that works. Oh, perfect. Okay, that sounds great. All right, let's play back from the beginning. I like it. I think that's great. I mean, I could go more into it, but um, I, I think this is this is a good demonstration of sound design in layers. Uh, and the last thing that we're going to add is music. We want to have we want to set the general tone for this piece, and uh, I'm going for I guess more of a, a calm kind of feeling. And so I don't know. We'll we'll go to Epidemic Sound and we'll just search for some songs. Uh, okay, cool. So usually with Epidemic Sound, uh, I just kind of like listening to what is on the first page. What's cool is that if you have a YouTube channel and you generally use the same style of music, they automatically recommend songs that kind of match your YouTube channel, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's just listen to this first song. All right. Oh, I'm saving that for another intro. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's actually, let's go ahead and search for something. Let's go to genres. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's go down more. Something we want to do ambient, right? Let's try ambient. And uh, what's cool is that there are certain tags that you can select to filter out um, the right songs even more, which is great. <laughs> How does it end? No. So close. Okay. I dig the tone of that song. Uh, let's go ahead and use the find similar feature and find something that's kind of like that, but also a little different. Oh, 
I dig this. I dig this already. Freaking love it. That's it. Downloading. Love that feature. That's probably my favorite feature of Epidemic Sound, like the find similar feature. Like if you hear a song and it's like, okay, yeah, that's, that's in the right direction, but it's not quite it. I just click that little find similar icon and just find songs that sound similar, which is pretty dang rad. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go back to our timeline. Let's import that song. Sounds so rad. I just, oh, I have a feeling it's going to work out really well. All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, the sound effects are a little strong. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, balance out uh, the audio. Okay, so tracks one, two, three, four, I wanna lower by, I wanna know, negative six. Okay, here we go. Oh, much better. Okay, okay, let's just, I'm getting really excited. All right, here we go. That sounds so rad. I mean, I could probably extend this a bit more. Yeah. Oh, that sounds way better. <sighs> so that is what I mean with sound design, that is, it's, it's all about layers. You have your atmosphere, you have your sound effects, whether it's from the practical sounds coming from the camera or sound effects that you download and try to add, which we did here. And then of course you have the music, which sets the overall tone of your piece. And it turned out really, really good, considering that I didn't film this. And I love that everything that I found was from Epidemic Sound, from the sound effects to the music, like all of it all on one side just made it super easy for me to complete this little sequence. And I really love that Find Similar feature from Epidemic Sound because we, we found a song that kind of fit, but when I used a Find Similar feature, like we found the perfect song. And so that feature alone is well worth checking out Epidemic Sound. The library is constantly growing. You get affordable subscription plans with different options. You can use your songs and sound effects for your YouTube videos, for commercial work, if you go with a professional plan. But overall, in the last two years that I've been using Epidemic Sound, I've thoroughly enjoyed their service. And as you saw, we found a pretty dope song and some pretty cool sound effects to make the sequence come to life. So yeah, if you wanna check out Epidemic Sound, link will be down below. And thanks Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching, watching me, trying to figure out how to make this little sequence come to life. It was actually kinda of cool starting from scratch, going from the ground up. And if you wanna see more videos like that, let me know in the comments below. But but that is it. I'm really happy with this sequence. Let me know what you think of this sequence in the comments below. But other than that, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.